welcome to the ambassador's hour this is your girl minister asia i'm on cloud 10 did you say cloud 10 minister asia cloud 10 without further ado let's get into our mantra and the contents of this video for i know who i am and whom that i stand whom empowers me to be i am an ambassador for christ and this is the hour to recognize me today is such a powerfully anointed day and before we get into the contents of this video is a title another yes then we're gonna pray okay let's pray and we're gonna say um some confessions and then we'll get into our topic okay dear heavenly father we worship you god we thank you lord god because you have done it again you are a god of another chance god you give us another yes lord god and we give you another yes lord god we surrender out of our soul lord god our mind our will our emotions our body everything that is within us lord god we die to our flesh today lord god we decrease lord god that you may increase that you may get the glory out of our life lord god we seek you today lord god we seek your face and not your hand god we know that you are a rewarder of those who diligently seek you lord god and we seek you today while you can be found god you said every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that jesus christ is lord and today on the ambassadors hour our tongue confesses that you are lord and savior of our life god you are doing a new thing in us behold you are allowing a well to spring up on the inside of us you said in john 7 and 37 he that believes on me as the scripture has written out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water and we take hold of the promises of god we believe that you're doing exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask or think according to the power that worketh within us god you're creating in us a clean heart you're renewing in us a righteous spirit you're molding and shaping us into the men women and children of god that you have called us to be lord god you are doing a new thing lord god you're taking us out of the background pulling us to the forefront lord god you are speaking and whispering in our ear and telling us to go right or go left you are directing our path because we have chosen this day and forevermore lord god to trust in you you said trust in the lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding but in all thy ways acknowledge me and i will direct thy paths you have multiple paths for us, God, and you're directing us, you're leading, you're guiding us into all truth, and we take hold of it right now by faith. Father God, we surrender our will to you because our will is a gift, and we say, Lord God, have your way in our life, Lord God. We decree and declare that we're everything you said we are. We're the head and not the tail, above only and never beneath. We're the lenders and never the borrowers. We're the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. We're your workmanship. We're the apple of your eye, Lord God. We're fearfully and wonderfully made lord god we're one of your chiefest creations the angels say what is man that thou art mindful of him of him and the son of man that thou do commit his commit your works into his hand lord god i know that you committed your works into jesus hand and we are a work god you are the husband man and jesus christ is the true vine and we are the branches and we decree and declare today that we abide in him that we're going to bring forth much fruit in our season and this is our season we decree that we're grounded rooted and anchored in you god we are bringing forth much fruit your promises are always and have always been and will always be yes and a Man, we take hold of your promises and father god right now in the mighty name of jesus i plead the blood of jesus over this accident scene father god there are too many people i'm so stuck i can't even go forth lord god but you're gonna release your angels right now father god god send a rescue team lord god help these people lord god put a divine hedge of protection around them and keep them lord god the ones in the van the ones in the truck and everyone lord Lord God, that has been hindered by this accident, Lord God. We believe that everyone is safe, that you're giving the first responders the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding that this three-car accident, four-car accident, Lord God, you're still in complete control. In Jesus' name, amen. I thank you, God. See, sometimes you don't know why you're on cloud 10 or why you're on high, but you have to make, make up in your mind and your heart that you're going to give God another yes because sometimes those prayers, those powerful prayers of deliverance and breakthrough, they ain't just for you. Those prayers, they're not always just 
for yourself. They're for people that you don't even know of. And God might be doing something that you're unaware of. And you just have to be obedient because the um, prayers of the intercessors are life and death. You, um, you're literally standing in between the gap and bridging the gap between those people because you're, it's like you're taking God's hand on your right side and you're taking the person's hand on the left side and you're reconciling them and reuniting them to God and bringing them, putting them in their place, in the rightful place of authority, putting them in a place of divine hedge of protection, ushering them, really literally ushering them into the presence of the Lord. So that's why the uh, life and death hinges upon the prayers of the intercessor and i thank god that he is so faithful and he is so wonderful that he never fails us and that his promises are yes and amen and so today i challenge you and this one you know i always talk to the people who are new converts on the ambassador's eye but today the lord god almighty is functioning me in my spirit talk to the old souls the seasoned saints them um, true travailers, the ones who have prayer mantles from 20, 30 years ago. Did I say 20, 30? I said 20, 30. 20, 30 years ago who aren't appropriating their prayer life, who aren't in a place, they're in a dry place, in a drought. You know that when you shot how demons begin to free when you do a true barak and a tahila, you know who I'm talking to. If you're a seasoned saint, you know exactly what I mean when I say a barak, a holy barak. That's the shout that they gave um, at the wall of Jericho when the wall fell flat and they were able to walk across and take the land. Joshua, now, it's in the book of Joshua. Joshua fought the battle at Jericho and the walls came tumbling down. Yes, that shout. When you know, you shout out of your belly. Like I said, John 7 and 37 says that out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. You know that there's power in your belly. And when you shout out of your belly, paradigms change. That's people's mindsets. Posterities change. That means their lineage. Their whole life and destiny changes when you shout out to God. When you cry out to God and you weep and you wail, he says, call for the cunning women's. That was the, the answer. That was the antidote. That was the solution to the uh, moral dilemma, to the famine, to all of the pestilence and the snare and all of the debauchery that was going on in that time and in that season. He said, you better call for the weeping and wailing and conning women that they may pray the, the, the deliverer. Pray to the deliverer. We are the, the, um, the mediator. Jesus is at the right hand of the Father making intercession for us we have a responsibility to be made in his image and his likeness in the beginning he said the lord god almighty said let us us meaning god the father son and the holy spirit make man in our image and in our likeness we have to be just like god jesus and god are one he's at the right hand making intercession for the saints he's our mediator we have to do the same thing because we're made in his image and in his likeness we have a moral responsibility to pray without ceasing men are to always pray and not faint that is luke 18 and 1 first thessalonians 5 and 17 pray without ceasing isn't that something that means don't stop people are in the hinges and of prison they're in the vices of the enemy these vices and these devices had these people plagued their lives are plagued they stuck and they bound and so the truth you know the ambassador's hour is a telecommunication outreach ministry solely dedicated to speaking in present truths and the truth is today god wants another yes ain't no doubt about it I don't care if you feel like you're fasting, you're praying, you're doing all that you can. There's some more surrender left in you. God Almighty wants another yes. He wants another yes. I know there's more I can do for him in my devotional time. There's more I can do for him in my prayer time. There's more that I can do for him by laying prostrate on my face, putting my mantle on, screaming out to heaven, 
going against the kingdom of darkness and warfare this is to the seasoned saints this is to the ones who know that you know that you know that when you pray god hears you and he answers you and what he is saying to you my friend is he wants another yes a deeper level of surrender a more powerful and consecrated place of worship you've been seeking god face for things and he's answering prayers from three four five years ago that's why i was on cloud 10 but it is an emergency in the realm of the spirit we have to pray like never before someone unsubscribed to the channel she looked at me and she was like you a minister and she unsubscribed to my channel how could you not know i was a minister when six years now i've been decreeing and declaring what thus says the lord on the platform when i didn't have no subscribers but i decree and i declare the supper grain of corn first die we can't bring forth much fruit some people gonna fall off some things are gonna go away in your life but guess what god is gonna do do it he said yes already the more they afflict you the more you grow so just trust god trust god if you haven't already and you don't know jesus as your lord and savior i suggest that you get to know him if you don't know how to get to know jesus as your lord and savior please read romans chapter 10 verses 9 through 10 believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that jesus christ died on the cross for you and god raised him from the dead and that makes you saved and from there get attached Go over to Facebook and like Loving People by Sharing Christ. Loving People by Sharing Christ is a Christian support page. And it's founded by Minister Renata C. McFadden and her bestie Heather. There you can find memes, gifts, and other graphical illustrations and depictions of the undying love of Jesus Christ. So go over to Loving People by Sharing Christ and like the support page. While you're over there liking the support page, inbox your prayer requests. And let them know any testimonies that you may have. Let us know if you got in from a car vlog. I became a part of the kingdom of God from a car vlog. Hallelujah. If you need help with anything, we will try our best to find you the resources that you need. And I love you so much. So, so, so very much. Follow us on all social media platforms. And we will be here for you if we can. All of the email and information and everything is in the description box below. And if you didn't know, I'm at my destination. I love you so much. Goodbye for now.